Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to take a look at SRB Miner's latest update where they offload the CPU load for doing Dynex onto the actual GPUs. So with that being said, let's go to SRB Miner's Discord and this shows their updates. Um, the latest one is version 221 and you can see right here, moved CPU part of the proof of useful work for algorithm Dynex on AMD and Intel GPUs to the GPU itself, because uh, most miners are usually running on little Celerons or like I just upgraded a bunch of my Octominers up to i3s, which is definitely better, but still probably can't handle the workload. I haven't tried it yet on my AMD. So what I want to do first is run the previous version here, version 220. I do have that available, and I want to run the custom miner for that just so we can get a baseline, and then we'll jump over to 221 and see what the differences are. So let's go over to Hive. And this is my Octo One rig. This is 12 um, ASRock 6600 XTs, and they're all the same except for one of the, no, two of them have Micron memory. Otherwise, they're the exact same thing. Uh, I don't really have overclocks for it yet, but I did copy my flight sheet from the NVIDIA. So let's hit that one up first. Custom AMD. Now, see, we're still running the SRB Miner custom version. And here's 220. And I took out the stuff for the NVIDIA overclocks. This should just kick in. Um, and let's see what we can do for tuning first. And then we'll jump over to 221. Okay, so let's click that. Stop doing the... Caspa mining for the time being. And this is in an octo miner, so we want to keep an eye on this wattage. This wattage will be correct, even though they are AMD cards. And while we're at it, let's drop down. While we're waiting for it to switch around. Take a look at the miner itself. I see it hasn't even switched over yet. There we go. Now it's downloading it. Okay, detecting the GPU devices. Now remember, this is 220. This has AMD implementation in it, but it doesn't have the CPU offloading. And the cards disappeared. So it definitely did not like that overclock at all. So <laughs> let's uh, get some better overclocks, at least something in a ballpark. So let's go hash rate.no. GPUs. I'm sure someone's got something in here. Our uh, RDNA 2. 6600 XT. Where you at? There you go. Dynex. Wow, I'm not running 1900 megahertz if I don't have to. 1050, 775. What was I off on? Oh, okay. Way too low of VDD. The voltage is way too low. Got it. Um, Hey, it's working. We're starting to see some wattage start seeing some uh, accepted shares here in a few seconds. And as expected, the load average is going up. And it will probably continue to keep going up. There we go. Finally, first result accepted. So, apparently I just had to follow hash rate.no. We're running 1900 core on the 6600 XTs. 775 voltage for the core and the memory controller and a memory at a thousand, regardless if it's Samsung or Micron memory. There we go. Let's give it a few seconds to actually get the first bit of information up here. Okay, so we can see, yeah, we're getting about 355 hashes a second per GPU. A few of them have found share so far. We can see the core clock and everything else. About 33 software watts on average each one. Now let's switch over to the main octave minor screen. We can see... Let's refresh. Yeah, we're already at the load average 10. We'll probably go up to like almost 15 more than likely. And we are pulling for this whole rig right now, 511 watts. So at least now we have a baseline. We'll keep these timings. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to the new version, which is 221. So let's copy this link. Shoot on over here. We're not going to do this. Cancel. Reset. Go back to the worker. Let's modify this flight sheet 
that we already have and get rid of the 220. Control B, and it's going to add 221 in there. Apply changes. So we should jump here from 220 to 221 if I hit OK and it restarts the miner and re downloads it. We'll see it. Let me get this set up here. This way we can see what the miner is actually doing when it updates. So let's update, play cheat, click on over, and we should see it here momentarily. Yep, there it is. It's shutting down. Downloading the newer version. Uh, I had to download the new config file. Got it. Okay. And as you can see, we are now running 221, and we should be able to see our load average constantly dropping, at least in theory. And this is new. Running in its initialization. It did drop the amount of chips it's running a little bit, probably because it needs that extra memory to run whatever it was doing originally on the CPUs. And look, we've already got results accepted. And we can see our load average is still coming down. Let's give it a little bit. Let this run for a minute. Yep, see, now we're back in the yellow again. And supposedly, from what I've seen from other... Uh, YouTubers that have posted about this, uh, a few rejected results is kind of common for this in the first few minutes of the miner. It should calm down and just stop and keep giving you good um, results afterwards. Okay, not that bad. There is a bit of a performance hit because we're using we're not using as many of those virtual um, neuromorphic chips. We were originally running 520, I think it said what 490 or something like that. That it's running now per card probably because it needs some of that processing power from each GPU to handle the original CPU load. And we can see we're down under two. Uh, and if I switch back, this CPU, it's not a Celeron anymore. I've recently upgraded this. If you watched the video before this one, I just did upgrade. This is a, oh wait, no, sorry. This one's in my Octominer X12, which has a uh, dual core Pentium, which has AES. So I didn't touch this one. But you can see our load average is down below two. Perfectly happy. Only two rejects so far. And about the same amount of wattage. Maybe like eight more watts. Okay, maybe 10 more watts then. Five, 526. And we lost a little bit of hash. But now, all that hash rate should actually be making it to pull side. Speaking of which, let's open up the pull. Now we're doing 3.8 kilohash. Remember, this miner has only been running for three minutes. So let's come back in 10 minutes to see what this hash rate actually is. Give it a few minutes for the pool to update itself. Okay, so now we can finally see 3.71 kilohashes pool side. Definitely took a little bit of time here. Uh, been booted for 37. We've had a few restarts. I may have to kick the voltage up to 785. Looks like there's a few issues with the, the cards but it seems to be fairly stable it didn't have to reboot the rig it's just something messed up in srb and it restarted srb minor but we are getting the full pool hash rate it definitely takes about 20 to 30 minutes for it to really catch up to where it should be but yep we're good so thanks for watching all the way through the video thumbs up please uh share the video around come say hi over at misfit mining i will catch you on the next video